guys, you are watching German Gyan. My name is Nidhi Jain, and guys, today I am again here with the Mudal Paper Four. I hope you are following the series which we have started, the Mudal Paper preparation. the and telk exam preparation for all the levels we have started so this is the even fourth modal paper from next video every saturday at 7 pm we are coming up with the modal paper series so next video will be the first modal paper for a2 so i hope you are excited i hope you are following it i hope you are learning it you are practicing it if you are in even then practice it if you are in higher levels or you have completed so please recommend this series to the needful students who actually need it who are preparing for it so that it will be so much easy for them to learn and to revise and to know the best tricks which they can follow in the exam and get the perfect marks for the exam so i hope you will be sharing it i hope you have subscribed it and let me just tell you if you are new on this channel that guys i am nidhi jain i am a ceo and founder of german gyan and guys german gyan is a one stop solution for all your solutions related to german language related to germany if you want to learn german from a1 a2 b1 c1 c2 all the levels we are giving you the offline and online trainings and guys let me just tell you if you want to do the teacher training program or you want to do internships you want to do the part time jobs here or if you are looking for the inter interview preparations or you are looking for module pressure for module exam preparation anything you will be getting at one stop solution which is german gyan and we are having different form which is pnm traveling so if you want to travel worldwide anywhere if you want flight tickets if you want tour packages if you want anything like xyz visa services anything then pnm traveling is a best solution i will putting all the details in the description so i will be putting all the information in the description i hope you going to follow that i know that you are loving the german gang youtube channel you are learning german a lot with us so please stay tuned and now let's start the modal paper of even which is the fourth modal paper please do follow from the very first episode and i hope you will be following the a2 series also with us so we'll see you in the end of the video do watch till end in lesson module you have three tiles tile 1 tile 2 and tile 3 in lesson tile 1 five of gabe are given to you and you have to put a cross on the option which is correct which means either ristish or falch now for the lesson tile 1 first read out the questions and then read the text to find the answer because it is not important to read the complete text sometimes you get the answer in the starting only so let's start with this question the first question is andrea muss heute lange arbeiten and second is sie möchte julia morgen treffen now try to read the sentences or the information which is given which is hallo julia Ich muss heute länger im Büro bleiben. Ich weiß noch nicht wie lange, aber um 20 Uhr kann ich nicht beim Kino sein. Können wir morgen Abend ins Kino gehen? Auch um 20 Uhr. Now look at the first line which is given. Ich muss heute länger im Büro bleiben. That means your first statement which is andrea muss heute lange arbeiten is ristisch and now read out the third and the fourth line which is given aber um 20 uhr kann ich nicht beim kino sein können wir morgen abends in kino gehen that means your second statement is also correct because it is clearly given in the text that today you are not free and tomorrow you would like to meet yulia now question number 3 4 and 5 are for you first read out the question and then read the text because it is possible that you might get the answer of all three questions in the first two or three lines so don't waste your time first read the question understand it and then read the text In the lesson tile two, 
a situation is given to you and for that particular situation two options are given so you have to read out both the options and check which is fulfilling the demand of the situation which is given for that first you need to read the question so in this slide you can see the question is z myoshten urlaub am mir makhan this question means that you had like to have a vacation at the sea now to check which option is fulfilling your demand first read out the option number a which is www.stadtreisen.d ferien in deutschen städten lernen sie berlin München, Köln und andere Städte in Deutschland kennen. Pauschalangebote mit Hotel und Reiseführer Now don't worry if you don't understand the complete text. You just have to find that whether this option is completing your demand which is to have a vacation at the sea. So if you read it quite carefully you will come to know that there is no option given that you can have a vacation at the sea which means this option cannot be correct but without judging the second we cannot mark the answer so let's read out the second option which is www.familienferien.de familienferien in der natur an der nordsee und ostsee wasser sport Schwimm Kurse und vieles mehr. Now, can you get clearly see that it is written Ferien in der Natur an der Nordsee und Ostsee, which means it is fulfilling the demand of the situation which is given to you. That means your point or option B, which is bbb.familienferien.de is correct. So put a cross on the B. Now for the seventh question again first read out the question and then we will judge the options so the question is sie suchen einen fußballverein which means you are searching a football club now read out the option what it is saying the first is werden sie mitglied in unserem verein alle sportarten alle altersstufen jahresbeitrag solf euro pro monat now as you can see this option is actually giving you a chance to be a member of their club but it is not clear yet that whether they are talking about the football club or not so let's first take out take the second option which is by uns können sie alles machen was mit wasser sport zu tun hat wasserball surfen Wasser Gymnastik und vieles mehr. Einfach Mitglied werden. Now if you will see the second option, it is actually giving you the option to be a part of their club but only related to the water. That means this cannot be the correct option. Then the only option which is left with you is A which is www.fge.de. So the answer is A because it is giving you a chance to be a member of their club as they have not specified the name of the club which means it can also be the football club now question number 8 9 and 10 are for you try to solve it on your own and put the answer in the comment box In lesson tile three, again, first you have to read out the statement, and then you have to judge whether the statement is richtig or falsch according to the information which is given to you. So now let's read the question first, which is in der Schule. In der Schule können Sie am Samstag tanzen. Now to check whether this statement is correct or not. Let's look into the information box what it is given. Schulfest am nächsten Samstag alle Schülerinnen Schüler und Eltern sind eingeladen. Kaffee und Kuchen gibt es in der Cafeteria abends Disco. Now it is not a problem if you haven't understood the text. What is important is 
that can the students dance on saturday so you can see that this information is giving you the information about the fest which is going to happen on saturday and at the last it is very clearly written in bold letters abins disco which means your statement is correct now let's see what question 12 is saying the statement is im januar gibt es bus fahrten nach deutschland means in january there is a bus trip to germany to check whether this statement is correct or not let's look into the information box what it what is given to us ab januar günstige bus reisen in ganz deutschland informationen am busbahnhof schalter solf now some students can find this question a little tricky but try to understand it with patience now when you will pay attention you will come to know the statement is saying that in january there is a bus trip to germany but in the information box it is saying that from january there is a cheap bus trip in the complete germany which means that both these statements are contradictory that means your answer is false now question number 13 14 and 15 are for you try to solve it and drop your answers in the comment box schreiben module in schreiben module you have two tiles now in the schreiben tile a information is given to you and based on that information you have to fill a form as you can see on the screen some of the information is already filled and now you have to fill the information which is blank for example strasse in this you have to write the name of the street next is geburst datum in this you have to write down the date of birth next is bestellung in this you have to write the order and the last one is salungsweise which means your method of payment so now read out the information and fill out this form in schreiben tile 2 you have to write down a brief for which a information is given to you and your brief should not exceed more than 30 words which means you can write between 25 to 35 words but take care that there are three points which is given to you so while writing the brief you have to include all these three points in your brief and try to write at least one line for each point now when you will read the question you will come to know that this is a formal brief that means you have to start the brief with sehr geehrte damen und herren and do not forget to put the comma after this and then start your brief from the next line and please take care that the first letter should be is small now as you can see first point is already written for you plus the schlush is written for you so you have to write only the second and the third point now try to complete this brief on your own expression module in expression modules you have three tile tile 1 tile 2 and tile 3 in expression tile 1 you have to introduce yourself for which your teacher will ask you the question bitte stelle sie sich vor and a card is given to you on which some points are written so while introducing yourself you have to include all these points for example name alter land one odd sprachen beruf and hobby as you can see on the screen this is the way how you can introduce yourself for example meine name ist anna ich bin 27 jahre alt ich komme aus deutschland ich lebe in berlin ich spreche deutsch und ein bisschen englisch ich bin lehrerin eines meiner hobby ist lesen like this you have to introduce yourself in expression tile 2 some cards are given to you 
and on that card a thema is written plus a word is written so in expression tile too you have to ask a question from your partner related to the topic which is given to you on the card and then a partner of you will ask a question to you so you have to answer that question here are some of the examples given to you like how you can ask the questions and how you can answer the question which is being asked by you for example woher lernen sie die deutsche sprache so for this question you can answer ich lerne deutsch am german gyan institute in delhi and the next question is we feel a bücher haben sie gelesen um die sprache zu lernen so for this question you can answer ich habe aus drei büchern gelesen and for the last card you can frame a question like this gibt es in ihrer stadt eine schule in der sie eine fremdsprachen lernen können and you can answer ja es gibt so viele schulen so like this you have to frame a question and you have to answer the questions now these three cards are for you the thema is arbeit und beruf and the words are arbeitsplatz arbeitsloss und urlaub now try to frame your own questions and a possible answer to that question and drop it into the comment box so that we can check whether you are framing it correctly or not in expression tile 3 again a card is given to you on which a picture is present and now in this tile you have to discuss this with your friend about the card or the picture which is given on that card now as you can see a t-shirt is there on the card so now you have to discuss with your partner about the t-shirt and a possible discussion can be tragen sie gern t-shirts for which the other person will answer ja gern or you can also ask we feel it t-shirts haben z for which a possible answer can be ich habe mehr als acht t-shirts i hope you have got a good idea of how to discuss with your friends or with your partner in expression tile 3 now two cards are given to you and this is for your practice try to frame your own sentences how was the modal paper i hope you have practiced all the three modules with us i hope you are learning i hope you are knowing the new new tricks i hope it is literally helpful for you i'm not joking just to make videos i'm just i'm not making it i am generally making this series to make you guys like relax that yes guys you can do it you can pass the exam it is easy it is not at all tough See, to be frank, every student who so ever comes to me say, "Ma'am, because you have done the language, that's why you are saying that it is easy." No, guys, I have also learned the language as a baby. I have also learned this language. Uh, I know how tough it is. I know how to be like habitual with this language. It's not easy. If you are giving your hundred percent, then 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 this language can give their two thousand percent, and I am damn sure it's a easy language. You can grab it, and you will do it. So we'll see you in the next video. Every alternate days, the new video is coming up, and every Saturday at seven pm, this series, the modal paper series, is coming up. So stay tuned. Till then, keep sharing love to German gyan, and we'll see you in the next video. Till then, keep learning German with German gyan. Take care. Cheers.